Let's take a look at adding groups in JSS. There are two different types of groups that you can add, smart mobile device groups and static mobile device groups. Smart mobile device groups, the iPads that are in the group move in and out based on a set of criteria that you supply through JSS, and the JSS system will decide whether those iPads belong in that group or not. Static mobile device groups have iPads that are placed into that system, into that group, and then they stay there until you choose as the user to remove them. So today let's look at static mobile device groups. So first you'll click on the tab that says static mobile device groups and you'll see these are some groups that I already have created. So I'm going to push uh, the plus sign to create new. An example of why I might create a group would be if I were going to scope out a specific app to a group of students um, specifically with paid apps, you'll need to do this. You'll need to create a group for those. So let's say that this is a paid app. So I'm going to call it Tinker. Um, Tinker is actually free, but I'm just going to use that as an example. And then um, I'll hit Assignments. So you've got this Assignments tab. And you'll see here's every iPad in the school. Now it's easy to find them over here by typing in the names. So let's say I'll just go through and find Here's one I'll check off and I could find another student. Check off this one and this one and this one. And then also this one and this one. So you'll go through and check off all the devices. You can search by serial number, by username, by full name, um, or by local name, whatever it is that's easiest for you. I'm doing by the kid's name, but you can search by whoever. Then you'll hit save. Okay, once JSS saves it, then you can go down to the scroll down to the very bottom here, and you can click done. Okay, so you'll see now here's my group that says Tinker, Tinker group, and has six students in it. If I click on the group, it will open the group. If I click view, it will show you the students and the iPads or devices that are in that group. You'll need to do this again if you are going to purchase any paid apps. You'll need to have a group ready, a static device group ready, so that way when the app is purchased through CES, they can go ahead and assign it to the group. 